everyone, I'm Alex and I am the Mad Cartographer and this is my YouTube channel. And this series and my Make Your Own Damn series are a bunch of tutorials that will teach you how to use uh, free digital paint software to edit, manipulate and customise your own digital tabletop RPG maps. Whether they are then printed or used on virtual tabletop, this a set of tutorials will teach you how to get the most out of the maps that you have available. Uh, this is not teaching you how to draw maps. That is not what these series are about. Uh, there are plenty of tutorials out there that will teach you how to draw maps. This isn't one of them. Uh, this is going to teach you how to take the skills that you've already got and then apply them to some free software with some basic tutorial knowledge. The tutorial um, says at the top that we're using GIMP so it should be no surprise to you that GIMP is the software and um, GIMP is GNU image manipulation program I think I got that right I keep saying it and keep getting it wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what it is uh, basically what it is is free paint software been around for 24 years well known in the industry um, and even though it's free and it is completely free uh, it's not the kind of thing that you need to worry about, you know, freeware with things being built inside it like spyware and stuff like that. You know, it's a very credible program. Um, what it is uh, touted as uh, and has been for a long time is that it is essentially the free version of Photoshop. And there's some accuracy to this, I guess, that a lot of the things that you can do in Photoshop, you can do in GIMP, but a lot of the stuff the more advanced things that Photoshop has, GIMP cannot do. But that doesn't matter because you won't need those advanced features. And to be honest, 90% of the things that you can do in GIMP, you won't need. I'm gonna teach you how to use the other 10% of stuff and how to get some fantastic results from your maps. So, what can you do with GIMP? Why should you use it? Primarily, you'll use it to take maps and assets and move them around. Um, you'll get a blank map um, and decorate it to your own preferences that are needed for the narrative of your encounter that you are building. Um, you can get maps from all over the internet. Um, you can get them from my Patreon. Oh, so I do provide Patreon um, uh, maps. I do provide a lot of free maps. And a lot of these are relatively blank because I don't want to define the narrative of the map too much um, where the, the DM has to kind of add things into their encounter that they might not necessarily have wanted. So I provide a lot of relatively blank maps and then assets to go with them and the DM can add them in where they want, whether these are, you know, bridges going over a stream um, it could be tents or a campfire where there's some goblins that are nestled in a cave. Um, you know, plenty of different things like that. You can use the assets as you wish. And GIMP is great for moving assets around and shifting them about, rotating them, and, you know, fairly basic stuff. Now, there's plenty of programs that can do that. But there's a lot of other things that GIMP can do that those other programs can't, uh, such as doing a complete color shift on a map. So you can take a green forest map and do a color shift on it and turn it into an orangey brown autumnal forest. It's quite cool. Or you can take a cave map and do a color shift and turn it into an icy, you know, icy cavern or make it a red fiery dungeon cavern the likes you might see in the Nine Hells. You can take a daytime map and add a layer over the top of it and turn it into a pretty good looking nighttime map. You can then take that nighttime map and manipulate your layers to add in some dynamic lighting areas like a campfire or torches. You can take a full color map and convert it into a black and white line art map for those people that are uh, very printer friendly, you know, and conscious about how much ink uh, printing a full color map uh, uses, you can make your black and white line art maps. You can also take those maps and convert them into a printable 
A4 PDF. You can add your grids to your maps, whether you want a square grid or a hex grid. There's a lot that you can do with GIMP. And whilst there are other programs out there that are made specifically for building dungeon maps, GIMP uh, does different things. It will take your maps to the next level. And they don't have, GIMP doesn't have to be used instead of these other programs. If you are using uh, some of these, um, some of these software, that's fine, that's great. You know, I'm not here to try and crap on uh, other developers and the software that they brought out. GIMP just does something different. It does something a little bit new. Um, and you can use both because, as I said, completely free. And it being free is one of the reasons that uh, I'm focusing so heavily on it in these tutorials because I don't actually use GIMP. Full disclosure, uh, I've only started using GIMP in the last month and that isn't to design my maps. I use Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint to design my maps because those advanced features that GIMP doesn't have, I kind of need those. But I've been learning how to use GIMP so that I can do these tutorials because I can't expect you to go and subscribe to Photoshop to do the things that these tutorials are talking about. It's the same with my graphics tablet. I use a graphics tablet to draw all my maps. I use a pen and a tablet. I can't expect you to go and buy a graphics tablet and a pen just so that you can follow the tutorials. So you will be able to use a mouse and free software. That's why I'm using GIMP and it is the best software on the market for doing that. But why am I doing the tutorials at all? Is it fully altruistic? No, not really. Um, I release a map every day. That is why I am the mad cartographer, MAD, map a day. Um, and with each map I release, I release a number of variations. The variations that I release are asset uh, variants. So I will take a cavern map and one variation will be a blank, then the other variation can be uh, a mine network. So there's all mine tracks and platforms. Then it can be a lava uh, map, and then it can be a river map with all plants and things. But this is all with the same base map. The variations are different and they change essentially the entire environment. My variations are not a color change. They are not take a daytime map and make a nighttime map. They are not, here's the line work. Um, you can do that. I do the things and provide the variations that you can't do. For everything else, you can do that yourself. And with a little bit of help and a few of these tutorials, you'll be surprised at how quickly you can do it and how much customization you do have over your own maps. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then please give us a thumbs up if you found it useful and informative. Uh, you can also hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you're informed when we release our next video. If you can share this video on your social media, that would be fantastic and would go great lengths to help us out. Uh, we're available on the majority of social media platforms, too many to mention, and so I won't. You'll find them all in the description down below. Uh, what I will mention is my Patreon. Uh, I release maps every day with multiple variations and I release a lot of free maps as well. So it isn't just uh, a place where you can only get stuff if you are paying money. And I am very conscious of the times that we find ourselves in at the moment. And so right now, a lot of the stuff that I'm releasing is completely free. So please go check that out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep rolling those 20s.